Now I have the privilege of introducing two of our graduates who are going to tell us how their education and their experience at CCRI has impacted their lives. I'd like to first introduce Jean Lamb, who's a 2010 graduate, who is now the executive director of Smith Hill Community Development Corporation. Just last year, Jean accepted a seat to serve on the State Housing Resources Commission. Please help me welcome Jean Lamb. Good morning, everyone. Let me get that there. I do apologize for the raspiness in my voice. I do have a cold. Um, thank you, President Hughes and your team for inviting me to be a part of this very special day, this opening day. I am very excited and honored to be here. Faculty, staff, vice presidents, members of the administration, alumni association, and alumni. Thank you for being here. Good morning. and. Um, Let's start this year with a bang. To be more than you are, to do more than you are doing, to achieve higher standards and greater results are definitely inherent in each of us. This quote, which is loosely translated from, from Buckminster Fuller, really epitomizes my time at, UR, at CCRI. Ooh. <laughs> and by the support of your educational community. After graduating with my Associates in Arts from CCRI in Human Services program, and I focused on gerontology, I transferred over to URI in the Human Development and Family Studies College, again minoring in gerontology. I completed my program and graduated summa cum laude in 2013. And this was based... And that was only because of the foundation that I received here at CCRI. At the, at the end of my time at URI, I began working at Memorial Hospital in research and RX, RX Assist, a web-based national resource for affordable prescriptions for Americans all across the country. I also interned at United Way 211, The Point, which is the only Rhode Island resource for seniors and adults with disabilities. At that time, I developed and prepared an emergency preparedness plan for that population and presented it at the state. After I completed my time at URI, I wanted to go on to get my graduate degree, and I applied at many places for public administration. But as divine intervention would have it, I was offered a position at the Smith Hill Community Development Corporation. I was hired by the then executive director, Francis Smith, as the housing development project manager. Following that time, I was offered the position as interim executive director, then acting executive director, and finally in 2015, the board of directors appointed me as the new executive director to take charge of their organization. They charged me with expanding the mission of the organization, onboarding new board members, and staff in creating an organizational culture of social inclusion and diversity. I now sit on the board of the Housing Network of Rhode Island and I advocate at the State House for ho housing policy and change. And as President Hughes mentioned, I also sit on the Housing Resource Commission of Rhode Island. Again, all of these goals would not be attained without the support of everybody at CCRI. So when I enrolled at CCRI in 2008 through the state's unemployment waiver program, I was trepidatious to say the least. I was going to college at 47 years old and it was daunting, but exhilarating. So really exciting to go back, go, go to school at 47 years old. However, from the first time that I stepped through the doors into the student affairs office where Linda Manish assisted me and I first met Dr. Ronald Schertz, I knew it was going to be a worthy venture. Let's not mention the next steps to financial aid, enrollment services, academic advising, admissions, the bookstore, the cafeteria, you get the picture. Any and all staff, faculty, directors were at the ready. All these first stops created a sense of acceptance and welcome, welcome to the CCRI community. Human, excuse me. Human Services was the program that I chose to enroll in because it was perfect for me. 
of my, because I had a personal situation going on. I had become unemployed to care for my elderly aunt and uncle, and my husband was undergoing multiple surgeries. Gas prices at that time were at an all-time high. I had no job, and we were about to lose our home to foreclosure. My husband was convalescent, and we had five young adult children, all who at the time were in and out of CCRI. Nonetheless, I dove, and I dove deep, and CCRI's educational experience has been one of the greatest highlights in my life and has provided me with boundless opportunities beyond the walls of this campus. Many of you may or may not remember that I was the lady who used to drive up the hill and down and around on my scooter because I didn't have money for gas, and I had my huge backpack I think it was, uh, you know, it was floral, of course, and it was filled with books because it was the only way I could transport it. CCRI is the acronym, we all know the acronym, Community College of Rhode Island, but I'd like to tell you what this acronym means to me. C, commitment of a community, the Human Service Department, Bill Hatfield, Eleanor Grodnick, Linda Carenti, Fatima Devine, Ellie Catanzarite, Linda Hassoon and all the other staff and faculty committed every single day to making sure that every student in that department felt welcome on a day-to-day -day basis without judgment, bias, or resolve. It meant the world to me and, to and, and above all, they were committed, committed to their community and that mattered. And I was just reading the um, booklet today, the program, and I noticed that Everybody that I've mentioned here probably has been retired or is about to retire, but there's over 100 years of service to that department and their students. So we should give a hand to the Human Service Department for all their hard work. <laughs> See, confidence. Tanya Fay. Is Tanya here? No. Tanya Fay of Career Services was an angel in disguise for this returning student. She provided guidance, laughter, and good old plain motherly advice. She knew exactly how to guide me in overcoming the obstacles that I was facing. And she provided the stick to in the face of adversity. She laughed with me, cried with me, pushed me further than I wanted to go, and always offered assistance, a kind word, and a smile, and would never turn me or anyone else away. Thanks, Tanya, for teaching me to be confident, confident in who I am, confident in what I believe, and confident in what I hold to be true. I am forever grateful to you. <laughs> Resourcefulness and readiness. Bill Policio. Professor Policio, is he here? No, nope. Pro Professor Policio um, teaches intro to social work and welfare and also drugs and human behavior. And he said, you have to be resourceful and ready in all that you present at CCRI. So on the first day of this intro to human services and the social work class, we didn't learn about that. Instead, he took the whole class and marched us right up to the library and made us sit down. And that entire class was spent on how to learn and properly compose an APA guided research paper. Everybody was like, this isn't human services, but I am forever indebted to him because I had never written a paper before, right? Had never written a college paper. So thank you to Professor Policio for the five years that I needed to write book reports, research papers, thesis papers, and now I use in my day-to-day -day life in writing grants for my organization and doing grant reporting. Thank you, Bill, wherever you may be. I. Integrity and insight. Dr. Ronald Schertz was my so social psychology professor and provide a more philosophical awareness on how we, as students, view people and their actions. And that's a skill I use every day in my life. A theory that was taught in class that has always stuck with me and I teach everyone is the attributional error, or AE. AE is the tendency for people to overemphasize personal characteristics and ignore situational factors in judging others' behavior. Because of the fundamental attributional error, we tend to believe that others do bad things because they are bad people. For example, if someone cuts us off while driving, our first thought is to be, what a jerk. 
instead of considering the possibility that that driver may be rushing to the hospital to see their sick parent. On the flip side, when we cut someone off in traffic, we tend to convince ourselves that we just had to. So AE explains why we often judge others harshly while letting ourselves off the hook at the same time by rationalizing our own unethical behavior. Many, if not all of us, unknowingly commit attributional errors, but we should be cognizant of this and recognize this error. I have embodied apostolic principles my entire life, but through the CCRI viewing of others' behaviors, through the social psychological lens, it gave me additional integrity and character growth that I promote feverishly to my family, staff, and community members. Thank you, Dr. Ron Schertz, for adding this integrity to my views of humanity. I've just returned from training in Louisiana, which is why I have a cold on the plane, and I partook in a class called Leading Breakthrough Strategies, which taught us about using stretch goals, which I'm sure is part of um, the doctor's um, speech coming up. I know and believe that CCRI helps us to develop personal, academic, and professional stretch goals, goals that go beyond our wildest imaginations. Go figure. I was an 18-year-old girl, girl. I wanted to go to Rhode Island Junior College. Many of you remember, right? Parents said, you're not going to a junior college. But I walked through those doors 32 years later, graduate at the top of my class because of everyone here, and become a teacher of commitment, confidence, resourcefulness, and integrity because of CCRI. At my organization, the Smith Hill Community Development Corporation, we have a mission of providing affordable housing options to everyone in our community and providing services to those who live in the community. And we proudly display our mission on our walls, so every day we embody th those values, much like what CCRI's mission is. And I know CCRI is undergoing strategic plan and mission change, but I looked at the mission on the website and I do want to say that you embody that mission every day. CCRI offers recent high school grads and returning adults with the opportunity to acquire the knowledge and skills necessary for intellectual, professional, and personal growth. Check. Through an array of academic, career, and lifelong learning processes. Check. And they meet wide-ranging educational needs of our diverse po student population. Check. We build on our rich tradition of excellence in teaching and the dedication to all students with the ability and motivation to succeed, check. And they set high academic standards necessary for transfer, career success, champion diversity, they respond to community needs and contribute to the state's economic development and the region's workforce, check, check, and check. I will forever be grateful to CCRI what you have given me my family, and the communities I serve. I know you, the staff, the faculty, the administration, everybody that comes to this place every single day will have a great academic year. Thank you.